going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. Before I crack on with today's video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates from January 1st for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, it is free. Social media links are in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Also don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim and also don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So we're going to crack on with this video. We're going to start off by speaking about the only transfer that's out there. It's a bit quiet with the transfers but this is really interesting. I really want to get my teeth into this and it comes in the form of an update on Zhao Neves. Now it's been pretty quiet out there. However, we know Manchester City are interested in bringing in a central midfielder um, in the summer. Potentially it could happen in the winter I think that'll be very expensive. It may ha take a Calvin Phillips permanent sale rather than a loan sale for Manchester City to dip into the market. But Manchester City right now will be identifying players who would be of interest to the club. And João Neves, his name has cropped up back in the summer and it's coming back again right now which i find really interesting i find that interesting because the rumors are not going away he's of the right age that manchester city would be looking for when it comes to central midfielders of course 19 years old uh, the only big sticking block you have with this transfer is the fee that would be paid to Benfica. Now, Benfica, their players have a release clause and João Neves' release clause is sat at £103 million, which is a lot of money to be spending on a 19-year-old player who's never played in England, who's never played in the Premier League and is of no guarantee to be a success at Manchester City. However... That price could be negotiated. There is always a little bit of negotiation room there when it comes to Benfica. George Mendes, who is the agent of João Neves, could also uh, be uh, tempted to try and get a bigger agent fee to try and help the sale from Benfica to Manchester City to force through the transfer, which means he would get more money instead. So I think there is a little bit of room for negotiation when it comes to this transfer. Uh, but as I said, I find it interesting that Manchester City were getting linked in the summer and are now right now getting linked with João Neves once more. It isn't a new name. It isn't a player that's new to Manchester City. And he's definitely one of many uh, central midfield prospects that Manchester City will be looking at. Uh, over the coming weeks and the coming months as we head uh, into and past the January winter transfer window and looking towards next summer. I am expecting Manchester City to potentially bring in at least two more central midfielders by the time we're done next summer uh, with adding players to our squad. I am expecting Calvin Phillips to leave Manchester City in January. I think it will be a loan with an option to buy rather than an obligation to buy or a permanent transfer. It means that Manchester City would need to sell Calvin Phillips. It may need whoever he goes out on loan to to either activate that option to buy or Manchester City to negotiate a transfer for a permanent sale in the summer. And it is always easier to negotiate permanent transfers in the summer than it is in the winter clubs don't have the cash uh, and clubs aren't willing to prize away uh, with their main players in the mid-season which is why uh, transfers are very difficult uh, in the winter January transfer window uh, but there is a little bit of room uh, for negotiation for Manchester City to potentially bring in a central midfielder in January I'm just not expecting Manchester City to make that the case but we will have to wait and see. Now, this rumour with Xiao Neves getting linked with uh, Manchester City has come online via Twitter. It's via a Twitter profile called Tolmy's Hairdo. Uh, now, I've not really dealt with Tolmy's sources before uh, and how reliable it is. Normally, I wait for official sources to be reporting on this that might may come through sources based either in Portugal or England involving this transfer. There's several European sources out there.
there several uh, media outlets and uh, correspondents of clubs uh, people that have the hearsay with the clubs that doesn't mean there aren't other people out there who do have word coming in from the club via different uh, sources that can't be reported on uh, as quite frankly it is unprprofessional uh, for that to happen uh, and told me's hairdo uh, it does tend uh, tend to be quite spot on when it comes to the transfer so definitely got some kind of muscle when it comes into news from Manchester City which is why I thought I would mention this I don't normally use uh, told me as an official source to speak about here when it comes to the transfers as anyone can make a Twitter profile and anyone can report on anything uh, but uh, as I said uh, before at the beginning of the video João Neves isn't a new player to Manchester City and what is being reported on here does make sense and it wouldn't surprise me if João Neves is a player that is of interest to Manchester City but it's all about the price 103 million pound release clause far too much money for Manchester City to be paying for João Neves at this moment in time in his career and where he stands however it all depends on what negotiations are in place with Benfica, with the player and his willingness to join Manchester City. Uh, if Manchester City are interested in bringing in central midfielders, there will be other top European teams out there, including teams in the Premier League, that will be interested in adding to their central midfield as well. So I suspect there will be competition out there for Manchester City to try and get this transfer sorted, but it is definitely something I think I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open for. He won't be the only player that gets linked with Manchester City. We've been linked with an abundance of central midfielders so far since the summer transfer window closed. We managed to add a couple of central midfielders to our squad, and yet we're still getting linked with more central midfielders because we've just not got that business right as of yet. And I suspect that that's going to carry on into the winter transfer window coming up in January and, of course, next summer as well. Busy time, City getting linked with full-backs, centre-backs, central midfielders, defensive midfielders, wingers... It's relentless out there. It's going to be another busy transfer season for JSGC to really get my teeth into for the upcoming winter transfer window. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It is free to subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. Most importantly, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. João Neves, are you interested? Would you like to see him uh, play for Manchester City? Have you ever seen him play? How much do you think he's worth? What would you be paying for him? If not João Neves, then who would you like to see Manchester City add to their central midfield? Do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.